Guess what happens? The alarm clock goes off at 4 a.m. Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to Gatwick Airport. We are embarking on an extremely long winded journey to Italy for big old race day. Big old race day. So I've actually left my water bottle at home. So I'm looking for something to hydrate me from my race. And I go what I found the perfect thing. Limoncello. Very Italian. Didn't know Gatwick had a had a spoon named after Eddie's mum. This new segment that I proudly named Feeding with Fisher. Um, we're gonna go through what I buy on this trip and how much it's costing me. And then we're gonna rate the scram. Gatwick being the respectful airport that it is has absolutely ripped me off. And I've paid £7.84 for this meal, which is gonna knock it down a few points. The scram was the scram was decent, but um <clears throat> Yeah, I'll give it a 6 out of 10 just because it was quite expensive. How we have a development in that? I've just received an email that uh, is saying Dear Mr. Sexy Man, we ain't got you a seat, big man. Suck your mum. Sincerely, Vooling. I just have to go and wait rather than check in and hope that somebody doesn't turn up, which is extremely less than ideal. Made it to Barcelona. Huge W. Um, just trying to get my connecting flight now to to Genova. Hola. Hola. There was a distinct lack of vlogging on during the second flight. It was mainly due to the fact that my phone froze and I was panicking. We've made it to the hotel. Got a nice little bathroom. Three man bed. Rooming with the boys. Rise and shine. Rise and shine, ladies and gents. We've got our got our morning shake up done currently. 11 a.m. Shake up done. Race in 10 hours. Sweaty. Humid. And I've been bitten to fuck. Eat it up. Nice. Clearly the bugs find me tasty. Looking, looking through that start list, like, there's a couple 144 boys on there, but like, um, I feel like I'm the class of the field, lads. Deep down, deep down, it might not, it might not say it on paper, but in my heart, heart, we know, we know what Harry Fisher can do, and we're about to find out tonight. Off to catch the transfer to the track now. Time to get ready to race, boys. Stop it there now. Stop it again. Stop it. No, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on I'm hang giving on. you
instant post race thoughts. I uh, don't know the time yet, but I think I ran it pretty well. Are you sure about that? Missed, um, missed a couple moves that like, would have liked to be higher up at the bell and probably not get boxed as much down the back street. Apart from that, I was just getting clipped all over the gap. A bit like, like it was a technically sound race. No idea what the time is yet, but I'm not too unhappy. There's another 147. 147.1 at that, but it's a 147. Like, it's a bit annoying because I know I can run quicker. Just getting clipped, getting boxed. I need to start doing it, man. The tactical, the tactical ability is not there at the moment. But I felt strong, like physically, so I'm not unhappy. Roll on, roll on the 26th at Tooting.